Hi, this is Graham Helfrich, Technical Advisor Manager for the Engineering Software here at IHS Market. Welcome to the weekly Did You Know episode where we learn how to do something of value that you probably didn't know about your IHS Market engineering software. Today we're going to learn how to get a bunch of completion information into Harmony. The first why would you even want to import completion details or really any extra well information into Harmony? Well, I'll give a few examples. One is if we uh, want to cross plot our completion variables against well performance, like 90 day IP or our well EUR. And you can check out episode number seven to learn how to cross plot or quickly see your average number of frac stages, for example. So this is one reason why we want to get all of your completion details into Harmony. Another reason is to normalize your type wells. So in episode number 25, we learned how to normalize our type wells by lateral length. But really, you can use any completion variable to normalize your type well. But first of all, we need to get those completion details into Harmony, and that's what we're going to learn today. Now, where can these completion details for your wells actually come from? Well, if you own the wells, then it's likely that you'll have access to these completion details in a table or something like that. Or if you're looking at non-operated wells, you can use something like Enerdeck or AccuMap. And in fact, that's what I'm going to be using today to get some of these completion details into Harmony. So here I am in Enerdeck, and I've got about a thousand or so wells here. And I want to get some of the data for these wells out. Now typically, we'll be exporting our monthly production volumes and we'd pick this option here. But something that people don't often know is you can pick this well completions list and export this table right here. That's what I'm going to be doing. So after you submit this job and you save the table, you're going to end up with this spreadsheet as part of the Enerdeck completion export. So we've got all of our uh, well APIs here. Each row is a well. And as we go over, we can see there are some columns that I've highlighted that I want to import to Harmony Enterprise. Things like my lateral length displacement, number of fracks, pounds of sand, pounds of propent, gallons of fluid, etc. So something I've done is I've added an extra row here and I've just entered the word import here. This is going to make it easier for me to find these columns when I do the import into Harmony. So here in Harmony I've already imported my monthly production volumes with the 98C or DP2 file. So I've got the well locations, I've got the monthly production volumes, etc. But now I need to add that completion information for these wells. So to do that we're going to go to our attributes. You can pick a well and I'm going to want to make a new category here. So I'm going to go and hit say add a category. I'm going to call this my imported completion info. Okay, now I need to add some attribute or some placeholders here. So going back to the table that we exported from Enerdeck, I'm going to copy this title and I'm going to paste that here in Harmony Enterprise. This is going to be a number. It's going to be a distance. We can have it in feet and meters. I'm going to put it under my category called imported completion information. And we'll leave this as an input. What you're seeing is now we have a new column and it's blank right now. And we see that here, but we're going to fill it in a minute. We need to finish adding the other attributes that we want to bring in from our table. For example, number of frac stages. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and do that for any of these values that you want to import to Harmony Enterprise. Okay, so fast forward, I've finished adding my new attribute placeholders here. I can see them all here and they're blank. Now what we're going to do is populate this in a single bulk import. So to do that we're going to go import, file, and we're going to go find that completion table that we 
in this case exported from Enerdeck. Now you see we have some options about what kind of data is this? Well, it's attributes. Okay, so now we're going to get this pop-up screen. We need to assign a well identifier. So in this case, I'm going to pick API. All right. Next, we're going to go over to find some of the columns that we want to bring in here. So I can see I, I'm going to assign that this column is my TVD. It's in feet. Moving along. Here's my lateral length displacement. Perf interval. Number of fact stages. Number of treatment records. Pounds of sand or propent. Total propent. OK, so we can say OK to this. Now, it's going to take a few minutes to import all of this stuff, especially in my case, I have over a thousand wells. But once it's done, you'll be able to pick one or multiple wells. And you can now see all the values that you've imported and kind of enriched your well information inside your Harmony project. So just a quick review of how you could uh, cross plot these things. I'm going to look at uh, operator number one here. Okay, and we can go to our results. We go down to plot view, and we can pick, uh, in this case, cross plot. And maybe I want to cross plot my number of frac stages against the EUR that I've forecasted for each of these wells in Harmony. Okay, so you can potentially see a trend, possibly, or maybe I want to cross plot the pounds of sand against the perforation interval. Okay, so this is how you can do cross plots. Uh, if you want to do a cumulative distribution function plot, you change this and maybe we can go down and see the different pounds of sand. Okay, so really easy. Again, review episode number seven if you want to see more options for doing these cross plots. And again, if you want to normalize your type well by any of these completion variables, go check out episode number 25. And that's it. So remember, you can do this with your own wells, with your detailed completion data, or for your non-operated wells like I showed here. But what does this really mean for you? Well, first, you have access to this well completion information. Again, whether you're looking at non-op wells or if you do have that detailed completion information about your own wells, why not use it in Harmony like I've showed you here with cross plots or different normalizing every type well? Secondly, your well information, such as completion details, fluid properties, wellbore diagrams, and production history, is likely spread out among many databases, spreadsheets, and PDFs. Harmony Enterprise can be your repository, not only for all this data, but also your decline analysis and RTA results. Today's video shows how you can start to consolidate this information into one engineering platform with Harmony Enterprise. And that's it. I want to thank you for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to call or email me and subscribe to be notified of next week's Did You Know episode.